everybody. Hey, everybody. This is just a little small update on my corn. Everything bounced back from the storm I had a couple weeks ago. And I'll show you that in a few days. I know it's been a month since my last drip irrigation video, but I just got all my stuff in the mail. But for this video, I'm going to show you how I installed my drip irrigation. Y'all enjoy. All right, guys, let me show you what I got. You see that black tube running in front of my garden there all the way down? All it is is a uh, half inch main line. Your main line is going to run in front of your garden, however you have it set up. This line here is going to feed your drip tape or drip tubes or whatever. Alrighty, this is the rest of my stuff. Over here, I've got a timer made by Dig Corporation. Right below my timer, I've got a uh, backflow preventer. It's highly recommended. Uh, the guys said I didn't really need it, but I went ahead and got it. Next is the filter. I got a 200 mesh filter. Right below it is my 10 PSI pressure regulator. And right below it, this is called a female hose beginning. This part right here is a half inch and my half inch main line will hook right up to it. At the end of my half inch main line, when I cut it off, I will be using an end cap. All right, I've got some plastic hold downs to hold down my main line so it won't go anywhere. And I've got 16 drip tape end caps. I've got the hole punch here. It come with some goof plugs. I've got a half inch 90 degree elbow here. Next I got these uh, barb valves. They are going to plug into my main line. Each row I have, I've got 16 rows, so I've got 16 barb valves. So if I'm not using a row one day, I can just cut that drip tape off. Alright guys, now that we have it hooked up to the spigot up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down, I'm going to hook this 90 up so it won't be sweeping like you see it doing. Now I'll take my main line and hook it to my elbow here. Then what I'll do is I'll put me a hole down right here so it won't move. we go pretty secure now I'm gonna go down this main line and put a uh, hold down every 10 foot or so all right guys now that we're at the end of my main line I'm going to hook this end cap up now, after I hook it up, I'm going to unscrew this end piece, and I'm going to flush it out. You can see right through that thing. I'm going to flush it out before I hook my drip tape up. So in case any dirt's in there, it won't clog up the emitters. There we go. I've got my main line in all the way down. Next is flushing this main line out and then adding the drip tape. I cut on the water here and uh, now I'm flushing out the end pipe here of the main line, making sure there ain't no dirt on here. Alrighty guys, 
Next, we're gonna take this hole punch here and this barb valve drip tape connector. We're gonna hook these up down every row. Let that water drain out. There we go. Let's go try to do the next one. There we go. How about let's do one more. All right, guys, we've got all my bar valves in. Shut off valves and stuff. I cut the water on so there won't be no dirt on the uh, valve when I hook the drip tape up. All right, guys, now for the uh, T tape. I bought 500 foot of the eight mil uh, emitter space in every four inches T-tape. I wanted the 15 mil T-tape. Uh, 15 mil is obviously a little better than eight mil, but the eight mil, it emitted more water an hour than the 15 mil, I think. All right, guys, I'm almost done laying my drip tape. It took a while, but I only got a couple more rows to do and I was wanting to show y'all how I uh, pretty much installed my drip tape. Um, as you can see here, I just pushed it on the, uh, the end there and then screwed this piece down and uh, I'll show you the end of it. Alright, what I'm doing in this situation is I'll, I'll lay it down the row and I'll cut the water on and I'll let the water drain out and make sure there ain't no dirt in there. I'll take my end cap. I'll screw this all the way back. I'll take the end cap off. Lay it to the side. Kind of wash this piece off. Make sure there ain't no dirt in there. Screw it right on. Put it right on there. And then screw this piece down. Still coming out. Rinse your end cap off and screw it on. Voila. Let me show you one more. All right, guys, this will be the last one. As you can see, I got some leftover here. It runs all the way out to the woods almost. Well, not really, but it runs out further than I want it. So, what I'm going to do is find where an emitter is and I'm going to cut it off right before the emitter here. See it flowing out. Pretty good there. And I'm going to put my end cap on just like I did the other ones. This turned out easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a pain in the butt. But, it's been probably an hour now and I am done. I'm going to check everything for leaks and make sure everything's running good. And that's it guys. I'll definitely keep you all updated on how everything's running. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer you. I'm no uh, expert in drip irrigation, but I can tell you a little bit of the do's and don'ts. I'm standing up on top of one of my compost piles here. Just thought I'd give you a, a wide view of everything. Everything seems like it's running good. 
drip tape hadn't busted on me, so I believe I've done a good job, and I hope it works out for me. See right there at the controls, I've got my my timer and filter and pressure regulator and everything, backflow preventer. I've got my 90 down there. Got my main line running all the way in front of my garden there, all the way down, 50 foot of it. And I've got 32 feet down each row of drip tape. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching.